Hello. Okay, hopefully this thing will follow from me again. Hi guys. Good morning. Thanks for joining me guys. If you're new here, I'm Laura Madden. I'm actually in my art studio. Um, I haven't done a Refashion Talk Live live for months now. It's been nuts. And um, usually I was doing those in my closet, which is a lot more fun and a lot more fitting if you're talking anything fashion. But you know what? I just, it's such an easier time managing the light in my studio because it's just kind of like all windows. Uh, on the other side of me at least. So I've been going in here to do pretty much all of my lives. My art studio, uh, just a little sneak peek preview of Refashioned Art. By the way, if you're not following me on my art um, page here, my art Instagram, I would love your support. I'm rather new to the art space and selling my art. I still consider myself a newly emerging artist. I'm about a year and a half in to pursuing my art professionally and selling my art. And it's been quite a wild ride, especially with this last um, wild year that we all uh, lived through. But um, yeah, I would love your support there. If you're not following, it's at Refashioned Art. And I did put that in my stories. So if you wanna head on over there after this, that would be amazing. Um, just wanna share some updates today, guys. Really, really fun and really important, quite honestly, I am, partaking in a no new clothes challenge with Remake. Remake is an organization I work with. I am one of their board members. I'm also a global ambassador. Remake is the leading authority on the sustainable fashion movement and educating consumers about how they can use fashion for good and um, ditch fast fashion for good as well because you know what there's so many other options out there and it's one of those things once you know you can't unknow it um, and you know you just want to feel good about your choices but also feel like a million bucks and feel like you know stylish and good about your fashion um, choices that you're buying and that you're putting on your body and that you're seeing in the mirror. So guys, Remake Our World, just in case you're not familiar with them. Oh gosh, it's not even showing. Okay, it's at Remake Our World, if you wanna follow um, right there on Instagram. Their website is remake.world. So guys, highly recommend you follow them. Um, they're just an amazing organization. I've been working with them for years. Since 2016, I've been with them. Um, so just really, really proud of the work they're doing and proud to be a part of that organization. So they do, I know new clothes challenge every year, every year. I know I've done a bunch of them and I've shared quite a bit every time I do. Um, the most, um, active no new clothes challenge that I usually do is my nothing new November challenge, which I've done for the last couple years. Um, stay close. My website, I am lauramadden.com. That's where my blog is. Um, also have my art on there, but I'm going to be putting up a post the end of this week, a little bit more about the no new clothes challenge. So what even is it? Um, and I really, I want to encourage you guys, please, um, explore this, follow remake, explore this, check out my blog. Um, it's, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I was, and I'll just be honest, just give a little, um, you know, <laughs> a little walk down history lane, if you will. I fell into secondhand shopping, which is the most, most of the shopping I do today. I fell into that completely by accident. I watched a documentary called The True Cost, and um, it completely changed my life, like literally in an instant. The True Cost documentary, guys, watch it. You can rent it on iTunes. I believe it's also on Prime, probably Netflix as well. Um, I know I've watched it a couple of those places. Even if you go on YouTube, look up True Cost documentary or True Cost the movie. You can watch a good amount of it piece by piece um, uh, on YouTube. It is moving, guys. It just pulls back the curtain on what's really happening in the fashion industry. And it's, in most cases, not what you think if you haven't been uh, researching this or work in fashion to some regard. So, you know, it totally took me by surprise. It's not common knowledge, but there is widespread environmental and social injustice in the fashion industry, which is so sad because it's like, how could something that brings so much joy and so much beauty to all of our lives and be so therapeutic at the same time, how could it bring so much pain and suffering uh, to the people that are making our clothes as well as the environment. Well, unfortunately, the truth is it does. <laughs> it does. And that sucks, but you know what? We can do something about it. So it's one of those things, like I said, 
Once you know this, you cannot unknow it. Once you've seen it, you cannot unsee it. But the other, um, the beauty in that is that there are so many other choices. So that led me to secondhand shopping. <laughs> Long answer, <laughs> I know. But um, it was an environmental stance from the start. I thought, how can I still indulge in my uh, obsession, addiction, <laughs> kind of, if you will. Um, how can I still indulge myself without hurting the planet? And secondhand shopping is definitely the very best way um, to be sustainable with your wardrobe, to curate a sustainable wardrobe. It's not the only way, but it is the best way because you are conserving resources, you're reducing waste, and essentially you're starving the landfill. Uh, secondhand shopping, guys, you, you can go high-end TBC here in Arizona, TBC consignment. We've got the real, real, we've got vestiaire. Um, there are so many options. Poshmark, you can find, you know, a whole range, but then, you know, there's also a uh, lower end. If you want to, if you are very, very concerned about your budget, thrift stores, charity shops, Goodwill, amazing. Guys, this entire look, which I love, I did a photo shoot with this actually, this dress. This is all from Goodwill. The belt, vintage, the dress, this was new with tags. Perfect summer dress, it's a maxi. I will share pics in my stories um, afterwards, I promise. And so, um, you know, I fell in love with secondhand shopping, and I know it's not for everyone, but I just wanna say, guys, it is, um, aside from the obvious environmental impact, the positive impact to the environment, it is one of the best ways to curate your style, and it is one of the best ways to really challenge your creativity. And that's what I love so much about it, because it does challenge my creativity, because I challenge myself to restyle and rewear, repurpose, as many of the items that I can. And on another note, one of the most sustainable things you can do with your wardrobe is to re-wear or wear the clothing you already have in your closet for as long as you possibly can. Truly, I know it sounds boring, I'm sorry. It doesn't sound very sexy and it doesn't sound as alluring as going out and buying something brand sparkling new or the latest greatest thing. But um, you know what, it sure as hell is fun and I'm having a great time with it. Six years this July that I started shopping secondhand and 90% if not more of my wardrobe now, anything I buy is secondhand. Now, no new clothes challenge guys. That is to your comfort level. If you do want to participate in the challenge, you know what? It doesn't even matter. If you participate 30%, you participate 70%, you are still going to have a positive impact on the environment. The two things that I almost never, uh, almost, I don't, want to, I don't want to say, never say never, but um, almost never buy brand new jeans and almost never buy a brand new t-shirt. Um, those are two items people don't understand. Extreme, like thousands of gallons of water going to the making of every pair of jeans, of every t-shirt made. So I choose secondhand. And you know what, guys? At the end of the day, I can't deny, I find the best stuff. I find the best stuff. I shared in one of my recent posts um, some great resources for shopping secondhand, some local to me here in Arizona, some that are global, The Real Real, Poshmark, Vestiaire Collective. There's so many guys, Depop, um, Thread Up. I've never used some of those, but hello. But you know what? Check them out, they're online. Um, I'm not a huge fan of online shopping because I actually love the experience of shopping. I love trying on, I love touching, I love feeling. Uh, and I love meeting the people that work in the stores because you know what, I, I don't know what it is, but they're always so kind and helpful and it's just fun. It's just fun. So yeah, um, aside from the environmental um, benefits, aside from the challenge to my creativity, which I totally love, it's fun. I find the best stuff. I just do. And I think for me, it's more of like the curation. And that's why I'm saying it's one of the best ways to really hone your style uh, and, you know, curate your personal style. Because when you go into, say, like a thrift store, if you go into TBC consignment or you look on Poshmark, you've got all styles. We've got the, you know, the feminine. We've got the vintage. We've got the um, rocker chic, you've got the preppy, you've got the classic, you've got the boho, you've got everything and you can pick and choose. Now, I don't exactly pick and choose. I mean, I buy only what I like. I've gotten, that's really my evolution with sustainability and curating a sustainable wardrobe. I'm very, very impeccable with my choices. I only buy what I know I love and I know I'm gonna wear, but I love everything. I love boho, which is kind of a little more of what I'm wearing today. I love preppy, I love sporty, I love that rocker look. Um, I love edgy, 
Um, I love all of it. I love artsy, I love quirky. So I really am a uh, all around, <laughs> all styles girl. Um, and I would consider my style more artistic and classic because a lot of the days I just wear very basic basics. And I love that because I love to accessorize and the basics are easiest to accessorize, you know, to mix and match. But I also love, you know, really quirky, unusual artistic things. I wear a lot of ruffles. I wear a lot of sequins. Uh, I wear a lot of leather, uh, you know, I love like texture all those kind of fun things. Hey, in the valley, how are you? Andy, you're back, girl. Um, Andy, it's re if you wanna follow Remake, I just put them in my stories here as well, but here on Instagram, it's at Remake Our World, on Instagram, at Remake Our World, and their website is remake.world, remake.world. They are an amazing organization, and they just, they're sharing the truth, really. But they're sharing solutions too, which is really the most important thing I wanna share. So guys, please follow them for more on the new, new clothes challenge. And again, it is um, to your comfort level. I don't buy intimates, I don't buy bathing suits. There's certain things I just will never buy um, secondhand, but otherwise, hats, accessories, jeans, t-shirts especially, I buy secondhand. Um, but like I said, it's to your comfort level. If you're unsure about it, maybe start with accessories. Maybe start with just jewelry, belt. And guys, I will leave you with this. One of my favorite sustainable styling tips is accessorize, accessorize. Really build up a hefty wardrobe of accessories that you can interchange. And this white dress, guys, this white eyelet maxi dress, I actually love it most with this belt. I really do. But Imagine changing out the belt, changing out the jewelry, changing the shoes, put on a hat. You can totally restyle this same dress and make it completely new. And that's probably why, part of why I wear so much black and so many neutrals like gray and navy because I love accessorizing and they're a lot easier to just swap out the accessories. But the same thing, you can completely transform the same pieces and wear them over and over again. Also one of my favorite travel style tips. But um, so think of that guys, accessorize, accessorize, accessorize. I have more belts than I want to admit, but you know what, I wear them. And it does help me to maximize the wardrobe I already have and to just keep re-wearing, re-style, re-wear, repurpose uh, the items that I already have. And I think it could work for you too. So I hope you'll try it. Again, the No New Clothes Challenge is 90 days. Uh, try it if you don't like it. The fashion police is not gonna show up at your door, I promise. But I encourage you guys, I encourage you to share your looks. Snap a shot of your looks. Um, you know, wearing something, re-wearing, restyling something you already own in your closet, or maybe something that you purchased secondhand. And again, I, I didn't really uh, clarify this, but to be clear, this is not about shopping, not shopping at all. It's about restyling, re-wearing, rethinking everything you already have in your wardrobe. And if you are gonna shop, try buying something that is pre-owned, something that's not brand new. So, and, and most important, um, this is not about deprivation. It is, I guarantee you, you will have more fun. Um, but I'm a shopper. I am definitely, um, I love to shop, I love to hunt, I love to curate, I love to, um, you know, do that whole mix and match thing. So for me, it really like feeds my soul and challenges my creativity in all the right ways. But, um, you know, if you need help, guys, with ideas, please don't hesitate to DM me here. Check out my blog. It's IamLauraMadden.com. And again, like I said, I'll be posting another blog this week talking a little bit more about that. But again, please check out Remake, guys. And if you can um, if you have the means to support them in any way, they are a nonprofit and they do run off of donations. So if you have the means, I hope you will um, look into maybe supporting them in some way or please following them, sharing their content because they really are doing a whole lot of good uh, for everyone, but especially the fashion industry. All right, guys, Andy, so the whole fashion mental thing is really cool. Yes. And rent the runway. Yes, exactly. And see, Andy, already just having this conversation here, <laughs> having this conversation here, um, you're already thinking like, oh, rent the runway. Oh, there's tons of rental services. There are tons of them if you Google, you know, fashion rentals. But yes, run the, rent, rent the runway is another great option. It's another great option, guys, to reuse what already exists. And sometimes, you know, it's like, why buy something new 
that you're not sure if you're really going to utilize. You're not sure um, that you're going to wear it any more than that one event, you know, or that show you did. So yes, good point, Andy. I love that. And um, yes, I'm sorry. Thank you for mentioning that because I totally, totally um, slipped my mind. Secondhand jeans are the best. Yes, exactly, Andy. I totally agree too. They are already broken in. They, I, and I love that. And I don't think a lot of people like to talk about that, but it's true. They feel better and they look better. Um, but, you know, that's just me. All right, guys. More of our brands are extending the offerings to rentals. Yes, more people are doing rentals. Um, even like Nordstrom, they have a take back program. A lot more um, mainstream fashion brands and businesses are, you know, rolling out take back programs which is very very cool so um, check out remake though because they have tons of resources on there guys way more than I, I, I way more than i could ever stand here and you know spew out to you but um thank you guys for joining me and listening and i just really appreciate um, your support here but please don't hesitate to dm me and if you do post your look feel free to tag me i will reshare them i'm so happy to do that and help cross promote but um that's it for now guys check out my website iamlauramadden.com the link is in the bio um some of my media features not my latest ones but some of them are in there i need to update that i know but anyway guys uh Website is there. Uh, my art Instagram at Refashioned Art is there. And I will be back next week, I promise, with a little update on the new new clothes challenge. And uh, sharing, I want to share some of the feedback I'm getting too. So, oh, Andy, you're amazing. You're amazing. I wish I could screenshot all your comments. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Have a great day. Bye bye.